Hi there, welcome to the Lad Mix Farm channel. It's Arthur here. Today we'd like to look at the power of crossbreeding. If you are a starter or a new person going into farming goats, rearing goats, and maybe you're out there, you are wondering how to go about it, and especially for the person who has limited capital to start with. Of course, that means you are going to find yourself starting with the local breeds or the, what we call the Movendes and be able to, you know, get a pure back to be able to crossbreed. I can assure you that there is power in crossbreeding. You cannot go wrong. It is a steady way of growing and improving your heart. Imagine yourself starting with 50 goat mothers, but which are of the local breed. They are also good. They have very good mothering abilities, they are very big, but of course you know that by themselves they do not convert the pastures very well, so their growth rate is very limited. But when you bring in a pure buck and a crossbreed, the results are really phenomenal. You are able to realize a big number of crosses in a shorter time. If you have 50 mothers, that means you are going to have at least a minimum of 50 crosses. And here we are talking of crosses that are of 50% bloodline. They grow quite fast, of course not as fast as the, uh, those of 75 and so forth, but still they are much, much better, way better than having the local breed. So all of a sudden from zero uh, percentage of, of the hybrid, you now have 50% of the bloodline in the offsprings of, of, of these you know, local goats. And that is powerful. Imagine, because if you sell off those 50% goats, or if you are out there and you want to try and acquire them, I think you'll not go less than 300,000 to be able to purchase one crossbreed of what? Of 50%. Now, from zero, you already have 50 also. Remember, it can even, the 50 can even give you up to 75 if you have some that are giving birth to twins. So you can imagine the leap you find yourself making in one kidding season. And remember, these are goats that are going to give birth twice in, in 13 you know, months. And therefore, within one year and one month, you already have around 100 watt crosses of 50%. That is really phenomenal. When you look at the way they grow, first of all, it's going to give you enough time to improve your heart as you study, as you learn about it, get ample time to appreciate the breeds, learn the characteristics of these crosses as you continue improving. They have their own challenges, especially if you are a new goat farmer, you have to learn. For instance, tick diseases like hot water if you don't spray regularly. So you start appreciating that as you've been taking the local goats lightly, when it comes to these crosses, you have to be serious. You either do what is required or you lose out. Uh, there is no game in between there. So that becomes a learning curve for you and it gives you enough time. From zero to 50%, as I told you, already that is good income for you, even if you decided to offload some of them at that rate. Of course, it will not be good to give out the bucks per se because the bloodline is still very low. At least if it was 87 and, so, and above, Maybe that one can try to you know, improve the heart of another farmer. Those can easily go in for meat production. You can castrate them and sell them for meat. But you can imagine you still be having that lump sum amount of you know, goods that can be able to give out. So now you can imagine the sky then becomes the limit. What I'm advising you out there, use the available resources. For those that have money and can be able to have the 10 acres and start with the pure bloodline of, of goats, let's say 75% uh, and above, then you can go for that if you have the money. But if you don't have, just go for the local goats. Go for those that you can manage depending on the land you have. I will not advise you to go for zero grazing when you're starting with the local goats. That is for somebody who has more land and can be able to use free range system because there you're not going to procure the grass, you're not going to incur a lot of costs in managing the grass and so forth. And at the same time, you'll be improving your herd. So zero grazing is only for those that have some additional income that can be able to go for those goats that have a higher bloodline you know, percentage. But if you don't have the resources, but you have the land, 
just go for the local goats and try your best to acquire a pure buck and you'll see the stride that you'll be making within a short time. In one year, you'll find yourself with crosses. The second year, you'll be as uh, these ones, because they quite grow very fast, after one year, they should be ready, you know, to be served. And so you'll find yourself, you know, having crosses that are ready to be served, which will now give you again a blood percentage of 75%. So you can imagine. So it all depends on the capabilities you have and the zeal and the determination you have decided to start with. Now, please get in touch. If you need any support, uh, we can provide you with that consultancy service. If you want to construct a goat house, we can also be able to help you do that. We are a large mix farm found in Moya in northern Uganda. Feel free to contact us using the number on the screen and there we shall be able to journey together. As I always tell you, we are not the expert, we are all learning together, but being on ground on a daily basis, getting the experiences on the daily basis and seeing uh, the tremendous changes that take place, I really take the opportunity to share this information and encourage members out there. It is one of the safest you know, ways of making income in a shorter period of time. You just need to learn how to do the basics, have the right genetics, have the right nutrition and the right management and you will not go wrong with this approach. If you find this information helpful, please consider subscribing. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. We appreciate your, your support and would like to journey with you. But most importantly, let's join the drive of growing the good numbers. You can only fail to satisfy the market. You can only fail to have the numbers to sell to the market but you will not fail to get market for the goats, whether as selling as a breeder, whether you're selling for as meat, both locally and international. Internationally, the demand is just so huge, so overwhelming, you just need to come in. And what a very good opportunity, because as a farmer out there, the most important question you ask yourself, where will I sell? Where is the market? And here I'm telling you, there is immense market. Currently, there is an effort actually to try and bring uh, goat farmers together. There are those associations, if you join certain WhatsApp groups, you'll find yourself planning together and how you can grow these numbers. So don't get worried. You'll only be worried for lack of animals to supply to the market. Uh, thank you very much.